Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing Minecraft again, and I have been able to play it full screen again. Um, when I start to feel sick, I just take a break from playing. Um, but full screen is nice. I do enjoy the full screen. Um, okay, so in the last part, oh, I see some pillagers. But you know, in the last part, I was like, how do you breed turtles? Will my turtles breed? Um, well. As you can see, I figured out how to breed the turtles, and I have a buttload, and I gotta take care of these pillagers, so. I'm gonna swish to the bowl. Oh! I didn't want to fall down that hole. Oh, he is hauling ass over to me. Gotcha! Now, where are the rest of them? Because I never travel on just one. Is it getting dark already? Didn't I just sleep through a night? I feel like I just went for. Where are the rest of them? Hey, turtles, have you seen them? Also, you may notice that the. I've made a lot of changes to that game. Um, I did, a, I did do some cheating, and I built myself one of these. Hold on, gotta do some swimming. Because I decided that I wanted to drench. Dread, drench, dr whatever it's called. This whole water area. So I had to cheat and make one of these. And when you get really close, you can hear the heart beating. So I cheated one of my, myself one of these. I gave myself the items I needed to make it. And then I did all this. And let me tell you. Th oh, there they are. This took me a good long while. They are shooting stuff at me. Got one. Ow! Don't shoot me! I'll shoot you back! Oh, switch to the sword. Eat it. Ah, uh, here is. What? Why do I have that? What? Why? Okay, so I gotta fix that. Um, I don't really care for your ominous thing. So I did all this. Forgot which button I had to press to sprint for a second. Let me eat a soggy baked potato because I'm underwater. And so I extended it down over here, all the way here. And then I have to do a lot of fixing over here, but. This comes over here, and then we're over here in this body of water. And I also, I'm going to extend it through here. And it's, it's just, there's going to be like a, a lot of water around. I just wanted my turtles to have more space, more water for swimming and just... You know, and I'm working on digging all this out too. But um, you know what? I'm gonna head back to my um, my home, and I'm I'm just gonna sleep for the night because, well, I'm not afraid of mobs anymore, and I I've gotten much better at fighting them. I just don't feel like dealing with them. Have I been poisoned or something? No. Um, no, I want to eat this. Now, is it gonna let me sleep or mobs? Okay, there's a skeleton on fire up there. So I'm not gonna go and dig all that out on cam- I hear a spider somewhere close. I'm not going to do that all on camera because it just, you know, 
Oh, there it is. It's a lot, and it- what in the world? Is that a bat? Where did you come from? I fought that cactus over there with a creeper. I also cheated to get that cactus because I still have not been able to find any. And I know the spiders won't attack me during the day because, like, they don't do that, but, um... I like to get the XP. So, yeah, I cheated this because, like, doing this, uh, there's a bad omen. You know, doing this, I get a lot of, uh, no, I just get a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily need. Like, I don't need all this gravel. So, you know, you just come over here, you throw it into the cactus, the cactus deletes it for you. Don't walk into the cactus accidentally. I am still getting used to all keyboard controls. So, sometimes I walk when I'm not supposed to, like, um, I know that there's, like, more than just W, like, it's W-A-S-D, right? Yeah. But I mostly end up just hitting W. And I know there's more, and I have used them a little bit, but for the most part, I just use W, because I'm still not used to the keyboard controls. So, right, I'm going to, I already dug out this area here. But I gotta get buckets of water and f fix it because it's all messed up. But that whole area is gonna be full of water. And then I can't see because this needs to be fixed so I could just. I'm going to fill all this in with water too. And it's gonna come over here. And it's going to connect back to here. So it's going to go all the way around. But that's just going to be like a little, like it's going to make like a little island area. And I still have to dig out all this. And I found a lot of clay. To, like you can see I have 28 clay here. There's um, there's some clay here. And then when I go back to my house, uh, my I also found iron doing this too, and um, like I had the, <laughs> I had a lot of work with this. Like occasionally, like I would dig and I would find like a cave underneath there, and then I had to like re put in like a floor. Oh, it's a cat! I was like, what is that? No, that's not. Uh, where did I put my clay in here? Yeah, see all the clay I found. Just a white wool. Oh yeah, because I'm saving. And then I went to the these I actually got. Because, well, no, the blaze I summoned and then I killed it. The gas care. I I. She just heard a clunk. That was my phone falling off my thigh onto the floor. It happens. Um. The gas care I actually killed the gas for. In the Nether. Um. Although I think my Nether portal still. Yeah, because like I built one back here. Oh, shut up, cat. I like the cats. I like that they keep the creepers away, but I hate that they are like, meow, 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 all the time. Oh my gosh. That creeper just came out of nowhere, scared the bejeebies out of me, and blew up my, uh, um... Uh, I was trying to show you guys something, and that creeper just- it ruined everything. Now I need flint and steel. And I don't know if I have any in my house, so... It's hard for me to type because my keyboard- like, my, not my keyboard, um... My microphone's kind of right in the way. I have to, like, move my keyboard closer to myself. Uh... Flint. My head. See, and because I moved the keyboard now, it's like hard for me to type because like I can't get my hands in the right spot. Okay, so now we'll fix that. Eat some potato because my health went way down. 
I, and I saw the creeper and I was like, oh, I'll just go to the nether. We'll be good. No, it didn't work. So, uh, zombie? Zo oh my gosh, where are all these zombies coming from? I don't have my sword right now. Okay, get, leave me alone. Give me my sword. Give me my sword. Whew. Eat some more potato. And see, this, like, spawn point in the nether is really annoying, too. But, like, when I come back through here, as I was trying to make a point before all these mobs just, like, decided to eat my face off. See? Now I'm all the way over here. And I, I don't get it, because I never built the nether portal over here. And I've never had this happen to me in Minecraft before. Just this particular game. Why are you trying to eat? Sorry, I saw a cave over here and I got curious. That's all. And there's another zombie. It was just because I have a bad omen. Because I killed the, um, pillagers. I wasn't about to let them just keep shooting me with their damn arrows. Like, let's go swimming. Whee! Sup, turtle? This thing's cool, too, because, like... I can just chill right here. And then, like, mobs will just, like, as they get closer, hostile mobs, not, like, neutral, like, or, like, nice mobs, like turtles. They just die. Like, um, for instance, if I... Zombie horse? See, the zombie's dying. And it's not because of the sunlight. This thing kills hostile mobs. See? Now it's dead. So that's cool. Um, saw a turtle over there, thought it was a creeper, almost pooped my pants. Creepers are the only mod that like really like causes me to have that like oh my gosh I'm gonna poop my pants feeling because you know they just go kapooey and then they ruin everything and I should tend to my garden I haven't touched it in oh it's a tree I thought I saw an enderman and I was like oh that's weird I did I mean I know that they can be out during the day but you don't usually see them out that much I have my horses over there that I never use they're just there chilling I feel bad. They should be able to come out and stretch their legs. I can't collect anything because... Get rid of the sand. Get rid of the dirt. Don't put it back in here. Make some more baked potatoes. Surely I could go for some baked potatoes in real life. Some bacon, sour cream, cheddar cheese. Need to get some chives. Make myself a loaded baked potato. Ugh. I'm getting hungry now. No, get out of here. Gotta replant. Also, sorry, not sorry, vegans, but um, I eat meat, and I'm always going to eat meat, and you can't change me. So 
So sorry, not sorry. Okay. Like, you made the decision to not eat meat? That's, that's fine and dandy for you, but uh, I am always going to eat meat. Because I just simply do not like fruits and veggies, okay? And you can't make me eat them when I don't like them. I mean, the extent of my vegetable eating is potatoes, corn, carrots, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. It's... I used to like broccoli a lot more, but lately I've just... <laughs> and cauliflower. I used to like cauliflower, but then I did keto, and keto kind of ruined cauliflower for me. Because you sub everything for cauliflower, and I'm just cauliflowered out, okay? Same with, that's kind of my beef with broccoli too. I'm kind of broccolied out because I ate a lot of broccoli, but not Brussels sprouts. But I never ate Brussels sprouts until I tried keto because I was like, I need more vegetables so I can eat. Oh, I also like um, baby spinach, but not cooked. I only like it raw. Like, don't cook me my don't cook my baby spinach. Don't cook it. Just give it to me like raw, like in a salad. Um. On my plate for a bed like I can put like cooked chicken on it and then like I cut my chicken into little pieces and I eat it with the chicken but please don't cook my salad please don't cook my spinach don't do it I do not like cooked spinach uh and I like lettuce in salad but don't put it in anything um I'm weird. I, it's, you know what it is? It's all texture issues. Like, fruits... Here's the same with fruits. I like fruit juice. Um, but... The thing with fruit is I don't like the texture. I cannot do with, deal with the texture of fruit. Like, I love apple flavoring. I would say I like apple juice, but I don't really drink a lot of fruit juices because they are loaded with sugar, and I've quit sugar, so... Don't need it in my life. I've been sugar free since January 18th, 2019, and I'm going strong. And it's now November 21st, so it's, it's been a hot minute that I haven't had sugar, and uh, I'm fine without it. It's not necessary. And you're probably like, wait, wait, you you don't do sugar? What, do you, what about coffee? Do you still have coffee? Yes, I still have coffee. I have switched to put in Truvia and sugar-free cream in my coffee. And I'm still trying to find some sugar-free peppermint mocha because I was all about that peppermint mocha cream before I went sugar-free, but I haven't been able to find it. It's sugar-free, but I know they make it because when I worked at Shaw's, um, Shaw's is a supermarket, grocery store type thing. Um, in the different places I know it's Albertsons or Star Market. Um, the same thing. But where I live is Shaw's. Uh, so. I saw it there when I worked there, so maybe I just need to look at Shaw's for it. I know Target has it, but I don't even know where the nearest Target to me is. Ever since I moved, I don't, I just don't know. I, I miss my hometown very much, and I want to go back. But we are, we can't move until at least May, because, you know, we went and signed a lease. And to break the lease, we have to pay our rent twice, so... We just can't do that right now. I don't know if we'll go back to my hometown, but we do want to move. Especially since we can't have a pet here. And we're not about the petless life. Plus the, the commute to and from work for my husband is like 
is not being so kind and courteous to our car. She's kind of, um, she's a little older, so, you know, she could, she could use a little less commute, but having that car is quite a blessing too, because we've only had a car for like a year now, so. We also got to switch our auto insurance because, uh, we be playing pain way too much right now. And I, I did like a whole bunch of quotes and I found auto insurance, auto insurance for about a hundred dollars less because like we're paying almost $400 for auto insurance right now, which is cray cray. This bat, where did you come from? All right, so I did want to try and find somewhere else to go. Um, I went way out there and then a zombie came and bit my face off. But um, let me just make sure this is on. Oh, okay. Cause I ain't about losing my inventory, even though I, she did most of this stuff, but that's, that's besides the point. So yeah, there's a buttload of turtles now, as you can see, because I figured out how to mate the turtles. Um, I figured out you have to like, you do, you feed them the seagrass, then they lay eggs, then they need it sand, that's why there's so much sand around. How many mobs are going to be waiting for me in here? Oh my gosh, I always forget to eat. And then I end up dying and I wonder why. Uh, you need to remember to eat. Sometimes I have this problem in real life too. And then I get all shaky and like weak. And it's not a good time. Why can't... Come on, let me sprint. I ate. Oh, there's no mods in here right now. I think it's because I went through and like just put as many torches as I could. I, I might have went a little overboard with these torches. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of torches. But I figured that would be a Oh my, that's weird. That's a nice little shortcut to get through instead of having to go around. This, this is that ravine that I was talking about that I fell in and lost my horse. If you watched the last part, this is that ravine. Oh, I saw... There it is. Oh, there's a creeper. Can I get it from here? I want that iron, but like, I know it's just gonna fall. Okay, nope. As you can see, I was down there because there's torches, there's a bridge I built. Punch some trees, it looks like. Or probably it's an axe, one or the other. What in the. Whoa. Oh, it's a wolfie. Hello, wolfie. I would tame you, but I've, I've, I've got no bones, and I've got... I mean, I could grab those bones right there that I saw hanging around. 
Or I could summon some bones, but uh... Oh, I got plenty of doggos. I really like to- oh, is this that village that I found and then lost? Oh, I think it is. That's kind of... Hello? Did a creeper blow that up, or was that actually built like that? Yeah, because this is that purple bed. And I didn't want to sleep in it because... And then, like, the rest of the village is like, yeah, it's up there. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna... Because I hate these things. Screw these sweet berries. Raid? The hell is a raid? Oh my goodness. What's going on? What is... For, what is for, I've never seen a raid before. Guys, what's happening? Pillagers! That's all. Oh, wow. It's probably a good thing I put my keep inventory on, huh? Can I get them from here? Let's see. This is like a weird village. I ain't gonna lie. Hello? <laughs> Oh, teeny! Oh, no! I think... I think... I, oh, my gosh! Where are they? I need to protect them. Ow! What? I don't like that noise they make. Ah. Oh. What the hell is this thing? Ah. What is a vin? Well, I've never. I've never even. Alright guys, I'm going to end that part here and I will see you all next time. <laughs>